All right, guys, Saturday night we have an exciting rematch in the middleweight division as number three contender Marvin Vittori takes on champion Israel Adesanya. Let's break it down. Marvin Vittori, 27 years old. He's six feet tall with a 74-inch reach and a record of 17-4-1 with two knockouts and nine submissions. From Mezzacrona, Italy, he developed a passion for MMA at a young age, having been inspired by such fighters as Mirko Krokop and Fedor Emelianenko. However, due to the sport's lack of popularity in Italy, he had to train weekly in six different gyms throughout the country. His path to become a more well-rounded fighter brought him first to London and eventually to California, where he trains at the revered King's MMA under the tutelage of renowned trainer Rafael Cordero. He turned pro in 2012 and went 10-2, before making his UFC debut four years later with a first-round guillotine of Albert Uda. He followed that up with a unanimous decision over Vitor Miranda and a hard-fought draw with Amari Akhmadov. In April 2018, he gave future middleweight champion Israel Adesanya his toughest test up to that point, losing a hotly contested slugfest by split decision. He came back the following year beating up veteran Cesar Ferreira and dominating Andrew Sanchez. After a year's worth of cancellations and postponements due to opponent Carl Roberson continually missing weight, the pair finally met on June 13, 2020, with a pissed-off Vittori overwhelming and submitting Roberson in the first round via rear naked choke. Seven months later, he stepped in as a last-minute replacement for sick Kevin Holland, taking on fifth-ranked Jack Hermanson. In a star-making performance, Vittori dominated from the start, dropping Hermanson in the first round and controlling the fight with accurate strikes and elite-level grappling. He followed that up five months later, putting on a complete wipeout of knockout artist Kevin Holland, constantly cutting off the cage and setting a record for takedowns in the UFC with 11 while busting up the trailblazer with vicious ground and pound. A relentless pressure fighter, Vittori is excellent at cutting off the cage while landing accurate strikes at a rate of 4.1 per minute. He's also an effective grappler who's constantly wearing his opponents down and possesses some of the best cardio in the game, remaining just as dangerous in the last round as he is in the first. Israel Adesanya, 31 years old. He's 6'4 with an 80-inch reach and a record of 20-1 with 15 knockouts. Born in Lagos, Nigeria, he moved to New Zealand at the age of 10 and at 18 took up kickboxing, where he amassed an amateur record of 32-0. Soon he began training at City Kickboxing alongside Dan Hooker and Alexander Volkanovsky, and began competing in both boxing and kickboxing, compiling records of 5-1 and 75-5, and and respectively. He turned pro in MMA in 2012 with a first-round knockout. He won his first 11 fights all by stoppage and retired from kickboxing after being brutally knocked out by Alex Pereira. He made his UFC debut in 2017, knocking out Rob Wilkinson with a flurry of knees and punches, and three months later engaged in a close brawl with Marvin Vittori, just edging him out for a split decision. Later that year, he knocked out Derek Brunson with a left hook and followed that up with a dominant win over former champion Anderson Silva. On April 13, 2019, he fought Kelvin Gastelum, winning the interim middleweight belt after a brutal back-and-forth slugfest, and seven months later unified the title, knocking out Robert Whitaker with a brutal counter-left hook in round two. After a convincing decision over Yoel Romero, he blew out number one contender Paulo Costa controlling the distance with his jab and leg kicks, and stopping him with a vicious ground and pound. On March 6, 2021, he stepped up to light heavyweight, but despite being a heavy favorite, he was completely dominated by champion Jan Blahovic, getting outstruck in the first three rounds and then getting taken down multiple times in rounds four and five and losing a unanimous decision. An exceptionally agile counter-striker, the last style bender has an excellent striking game setting up his opponents with feints and overwhelming them with a versatile array of strikes from all angles. The biggest hole in his game is his wrestling, but he counters that with an 82% takedown defense. Will Adesanya be able to bounce back from his first career loss with an emphatic win? Will Vittori be able to exploit Izzy's lack of wrestling skills? Will their mutual hatred for each other be a distraction? Tune in Saturday night to find out.